I want a ticket to anywhere Maybe we make a deal Maybe together we can get somewhere Any place is better Starting from zero, got nothing to lose Maybe we'll make something Me, myself, I got nothing to prove What's up you guys? Welcome back to your girl's channel. On today, you guys, on this music journey, we're going to be exploring new artists. Now, you guys know I'm always excited about new artists, see what they bring to the table, and see how we um, connect with it, jam with it, vibe with it, and all that, you guys. So this one is called Redbone. Pretty excited. Um, pretty excited about this one, you guys, because we don't react to a lot of um, native music, you guys. I love my Native Americans. I love different genres. We are not no shape way or form discrimination on this channel you guys we are definitely definitely open-minded with every single genre of music there is out there in this world that's why it's called a music journey so today you guys we got rebo come and get your love on a wavaga this is on a wavaga album 1973 now i did find some fun facts so you guys bear with me and let's get through them <laughs> Bone, their name a nod to their heritage was a native american band from colingo colingo California led by the brothers Vesca, Vescaz or Vascoos. They were managed by the Bumps Blackwell who guided the little Richard and Sam Cook to success. Uh, discrimination, he convinced the brothers to use different last names. So they became known as Pat and Lolly Vegas. Red Bell earned an audience playing the clubs on the Sunset Strip in Las Vegas. At the same time, the doors were at the scene. Okay, so they was working with big names. Um, a self-titled double album was their album in 1970, introducing their funk rock rhythm, which they called the King Kong Beat. In 1972, they scored the Witch Queen of the New Orleans, which reached, which reached number 21 in the U.S. and number 2 in the U.K. In 1973, they released their most famous song, Come and Get Your Love, on their fifth album, Wuvaka. I do believe that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> um, now correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments about any of that, you guys. But I will screenshot it so you guys can read it with me. Let's get straight to you guys. This is a midnight special. So let's see what they bring to the table on Come and Get Your Love. I don't want to stop it but I have to I grew up on this you guys I grew up on this but I couldn't tell you the artist who sung it oh my gosh I grew up on this you guys my grandma she's half African and half um, Indian you guys this is so amazing oh my yes I grew up on this you guys this is unbelievable this is this is one reason this is one reason why I love going on a music journey, you guys. This is why it excites me more. You know that I started this channel. You can you guys focus on me? Why I even why I even started this channel, you guys. Now, like I said, I grew up on the Righteous Brothers, but I couldn't tell you who sung it. I didn't know it was them. You know? <laughs> or Darren. Like there's a lot of artists out there, you guys, that have reacted to. I, I think I do believe in most of them. I I say that. Like I grew up on this, but I couldn't tell you the. Oh my gosh. So yes, 
this is one of the songs you guys oh oh it makes me more emotional too because my grandpa is like 70 i think he just turned 73 or 72 oh my gosh i'm so, such a horrible granddaughter so he's like oh now you guys and it's just like so more emotional uh, follow me on instagram go tell him happy birthday you guys it just passed like probably like two weeks ago <sighs> okay so this this is more and more exciting you guys i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm too i'm too geeked about this okay oh and then his voice his voice is the little dance they have like the tradition the oh gosh <laughs> Yes, come and get what you deserve. He's telling her, appreciate yourself. I love just the way you are. Your hair, what's wrong with your hair? Nothing is wrong with you. Come get come get what you deserve in life, in love, and oh, this is just a vibe. Oh. <laughs> too amazing to me especially at bringing back memories this was just too amazing to me you guys i'm sure y'all felt that i mean if y'all vibe with like i vibe with it you guys let me know down in the comments but honestly i grew up on this you guys but like i said i couldn't tell you the artist who signed it the lyrics or anything so this is saying basically you know what's wrong with your hair as she describes what's wrong with it you're you're basically perfect to me encouraging her go get what you deserve in life go get the love that you deserve i mean their energy it was everything on here. Mm. Yes, you guys. Yes, yes. This one would definitely get a 10 out of 10 from me, you guys. I know I don't rate all my videos, but definitely when I remind myself to rate my videos. <laughs> this one will definitely get a 10 out of 10. And then they jammed this in 1973. 
I did not know y'all was jamming like this in 1973, y'all. I mean, his voice just has so much power and impact. But smooth. The whole, the whole band did they thing, y'all. And I would definitely get to him. I love learning new artists. I love going on music journey. To even see, like, if I grew up on this, you guys, like, I'm too excited. I gotta get off here. <laughs> I gotta get off here. But this would definitely probably be on my playlist now that I know the artists and I could just look it up and... Yes, when I started this music journey, I did not know y'all was gonna get me hip. Y'all was gonna get me hip to music. I would put on my playlist, but there's plenty of songs that I have react to on this channel. Just like, hey, this has to go. New generation gotta put this on a playlist because I'm feeling it. So come and get your love, baby. Oh, it drew you in. You guys, let me know down in the comments how you guys feel. Let's go.